you ever thought what happens to the water when it rains? Tarmac, paving and buildings prevent rainwater soaking into the ground. Instead, it flows quickly down the drain, taking pollution to the nearest river or stream. Or it joins the foul sewage system, going to the sewage works. So what's the problem? Well, excessive runoff can lead to flash flooding of roads and properties. Stormwater and sewage water can overflow into our rivers. And pollutants from our urban areas get washed into the rivers too. Also, sewage works have to manage large volumes of stormwater and that adds to the energy demands and costs to the consumer. Sustainable drainage systems, or SUDs for short, allow rainwater to behave more naturally in built-up areas, trickling, soaking and flowing slowly to our rivers and streams. SUDs allow rainwater to support plants and wildlife and they can help to prevent pollution and flooding and create beautiful spaces for people and wildlife too. The model that Trent Rivers Trust made for the Environment Agency shows suds in action. On the right hand side there's a home with conventional drainage taking water straight down the drain or across the hard surfaces. The home on the other side of the model has a sud system. So there's a green roof on the garage and the overspill of that is directed across the ground and through the long narrow swale where it eventually reaches the drainage system. At the front the water butt takes water from the roof of the house and when that's full it flows into the rain garden that's at the front and then again eventually it seeps into the uh, drainage system. When you think about it a river starts wherever the rain falls. If we can all let water act a bit more naturally then together we'll make a real positive difference to our rivers.